What's up, everybody? King of Foma here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today, we're going to be some talking about something I'm very excited to talk about. This has been in the works for about a month now. Pocket Network Rewards, Staking Rewards, how it's going for me. I'm going to tell you guys how much I earned in one day. It's been 24 hours, and I'm already very pleased with what I'm seeing with Pocket Network. And we'll also talk about a lot of speculative stuff. Now, full disclaimer right here, guys. I am a very, very optimistic guy when it comes to crypto in general, so... Do err on the side of caution. These are not results that you're guaranteed to get within the first day or consecutively with Pocket Network if you do decide to run a node. And secondly, I will be talking about Coder. So Coder is the guys that I'm running my node with. Uh, so Coder, we'll talk about the good and the bad with this thing too, but this is not a sponsored video of any sort. If you guys want to learn how to run your own nodes, you could potentially make even more than what we're going to be seeing here in this video. So you've already heard Chico Crypto and a few other people talk about you can make up to $50,000 with your pocket nodes a month. Uh, I My last video, I talked about $30,000 a year with pocket nodes, and it can be very exciting seeing as where this thing can be in the future. So we're going to get very speculative in this video, but definitely stick around the first thing that I'm going to show you guys and talk about, like I said, I have been running my node for no more than 24 hours, and I'm very pleased with the results. As you can see down here, I've locked out some sensitive information, as you can see. But as you can see right here, two of my nodes, 126 pocket earned in 24 hours, 101 pocket earned in 24 hours. That is phenomenal work. This is my pocket wallet. 143.53 pocket was sent to my wallet from Coder, making those rewards today. So that's $179 return on my investment in a singular day. Uh, so again, you need, you need to stake a minimum of 15,000 pocket tokens, which is a pretty hefty amount. I know some of you guys can't all afford that, but if you can, there then I think it's definitely going to be worth it. There's other options if you can't, however. But uh, as you can see, that, that I think that's about a 0.06% in one day. That's incredible and more to come soon. So so with all of that being said, uh, we will briefly talk about this. Coder is a service. It's a third-party service that you can ask for them to set up your nodes. All you do is you send them some emails, you exchange a couple of information, and you send the 15,000 pocket tokens to the wallet over on this third-party website. They do everything else on the back end. Now, I know that I've gotten a few comments about people saying, just do it yourself. It's easy. Uh, you know, On one hand, if you know how to work, around, work your way around nodes and computers it is pretty easy but on the other hand it's kind of difficult especially for your average joe if you have your own full-time job doing your own thing uh, it, it, you have to keep up with it and to do it optimally is pretty difficult i'm very pleased with what i'm seeing right now with pocket network because as you can see they have claimed to be very very careful with their nodes with with coder over here and as you can see they, they've, they've got i've gotten some great rewards and optimizing that, even though even if you're running your own node, can be a little bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing at first. So I'm happy with Coder overall. So now let's talk about some more of the speculative things. So we talked about in our last video where this thing can go. So I'm not sure if I'm still connected to the internet here so we can see, but if I put in 15,000 pocket tokens, so 15,000 pocket tokens at a at the price of where it is right now is going to net you a, a yearly return of about $4,000. If we become super bullish, about 500%, $27,000. And if we're looking at even the more bullish uh, from, from kind of the average earnings that I'm getting from this, then that, that is uh, significantly more than $27,000. Now, before I continue talking about price, I do want to go over here and just look at the details and the charts of the Pocket Network. So we'll go through this stuff and we'll kind of take a look at where we can see Pocket going in the future as well. Um, so first of all, you have the Pocket price. So just looking at price alone, like I said, we've kind of hit those all-time highs a few weeks ago. 
uh, with the pocket price being at about $2.30, maybe $2.50, and we've rebounded since then. So I think personally that this is probably a good opportunity to look at buying in, especially since we're not at all-time high peak levels right now. This is, you know, if anything, it's the midpoint. If we go down a little bit more, it's definitely going to be a good time to scoop up some pocket. But we can definitely reach those all-time high numbers again of $2.60 and $2.51 as as I'm going to hopefully talk about later, unless I forget, I do think that pocket network could be a top 20 coin, putting it in the uh, $10 range. So if we look at kind of those price ranges, and that's kind of where that 500% comes from, and that, that would be close to maybe even a thousand percent or 10,000%. Uh, but nonetheless, Going back to over here, I do think that being at this price range might be a good opportunity to pick it up. I'm um, scrolling down here even more. Now, all these details are available on the Coder website, and I'm sure there's plenty of other Pocket Network stats websites that you guys can take a look at with even more information. But one of the things that you actually earn with in Pocket, and this is going to be a very basic explanation. Again, I'm not going to be the Pocket expert for this stuff. This is just for the layman's who are jumping into this who want to try and uh, you know make some profits with this you do have relays that happen every day. So what relays do, basically when other dApps or other uh, you know, smart contracts use Pocket Network to look at data on the back end, that is considered a relay. And those relays are paid to people that are running these Pocket nodes. So the more relays that we have, the better. And as you can see, the relays in the past 24 hours, 295 million relays, which is pretty good. And the average Pocket earned in the last 24 hours is about 89. So even though my numbers are a little bit higher than 89, it's still a pretty solid return with each of the pocket nodes right there. Uh, so again, you guys can project those numbers out even more, even farther. And another thing that we can kind of mention right now is that in the next 150 days, perhaps longer, perhaps shorter, there's a proposal to reduce the pocket rewards by 50%. Now you might think that, oh man, I'm, this is gonna suck in the next 150 days, but actually it might act like a catalyst or like sort of like a Bitcoin hack having of the pocket network and we'll talk about supply and demand as well here uh, why don't we do, why don't we talk about that right now before I forget it because usually I, I say this stuff and I forget talking about forget to talk about it later but anyway if you do have a reduction of the supply that is printed out so right now you have a, a very very lucrative uh, opportunity of 89 pocket tokens are kind of being printed on average for everyone who's running a node every single day uh, that number might be sliced in half so let's just say it's at about 90 and instead we get 45 pocket tokens per on average every single day now right now the supply is really really high but the demand is even higher which is why the price of the pocket token is pretty much staying steady at the price of where it is right now at about a dollar and 30 cents that's what it's been the past couple days uh theoretically since you have such an increasing supply the the and if the demand even stays the same the price should start sinking as people continue to sell uh their pocket uh profits but that demand is extremely high and we'll take a look at why I'm saying the demand's high later with the amount of nodes that are being run over time uh, but the pocket that's being printed is also extremely high think about this in the future if pocket reduces those rewards by 50% then you're having a reduced supply and extremely high demand what's that gonna do high demand low supply you're looking at an increase of price significantly so I'm looking forward to when that does happen and again this is just personally what i'm thinking this is a really really good time to reap those rewards of that high payout of that extra 50 percent payout uh, once that quote unquote Bitcoin having equivalent happens with Pocket Network, if they do reduce the emissions supply by 50%. Um, so that is something that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so let's continue on down here and we'll take a look at some other stuff. But again, you can verify that that supply and demand information and, and the reduction of rewards in their Discord uh, and, and their Twitter. So just follow up on that if you guys want to learn more about that. Again, this is really just basic information to get you guys started on your research. Uh, so the relays by network. Now, if you're running a pocket node, 
this is why it's it, it's good to use third parties if you really don't know what you're doing. Uh, you have to kind of choose which nodes you want to run. So do you want to run the node for Harmony? Do you want to run the node for Polygon? Do you want to run the node for Avalanche? And depending on which ones you pick, um, some people are going to be making more because there's just more relays happening on that chain. In this case, Harmony is using a ton of pocket node um, systems right now so the lot of the relays are coming from harmony and then you have fuse ethereum polygon and a few others right here at x uh, that are doing pretty good as well so if you're running on those chains you're going to be getting relays and getting pocket thrown out to you for being a node on those chains and uh so that that's something to definitely take a look at right now harmony is killing it but these other chains might catch up if pocket does continue to be successful um you know we could definitely see some evening out here in terms of values for relays for each of these chains um scrolling down a little bit more here this is some important information to take a look at right here um this just just get, like puts people at a grounded level you're not guaranteed to be selected in relay sessions every day so in 24 hours your numbers could be zero you could get zero pocket tokens and it gives you some pretty good percentages about kind of what's going on here uh, you know the percentage of getting selected to a large session where you're going to get a lot of pocket paid out to you for being in a large session you get a two percent chance of that happening to you in a 24-hour period chances of not getting selected to a large session is a 98 percent chance chances of not getting selected to any large sessions the entire day so it, it gives you a lot of good per percentages about kind of what's going on here and, and keeps you grounded in terms of like oh am i going to be making 200 pocket a day not really percentage wise uh, in the long term, you're going to probably be making what the average is on a daily basis, which in, in this case currently is about 89, maybe 90 tokens a day. Uh, so we have some fun facts here. We're not going to really talk about that too much. Capacity. There are a lot of um, apps being run with uh, with Pocket Node 2048, but there can be so much more as uh, crypto grows and as, as people need something like Pocket Node to operate. Now, again, if you guys are unaware, Pocket Node is very similar to AWS, which is a system that's used by basically everything. Uh, so I do think that it, it definitely is a market that is starved for competition. And if Pocket uh, fills that void for competition, then these apps can 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 definitely grow dramatically. Uh, over time uh, network decentralization it talks about the geolocation of uh, kind of where these apps are going on if you're going to be running a node you should your node probably should be closer to one of these areas in red uh, for the validators so that is helpful information right there and um, you know it talks about a few other things here too node versions node versions for staking power etc etc there's actually some more information right here let me actually have to turn back on my my data here so that we can take a look at that uh, but uh, one of the things that I wanted to take a look at is, and if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up, but you have, have to trust me and look at this on your own. But one of the things that, that, that it shows you is the amount of uh, people who are running nodes over time, the amount of staked tokens. So if I can get this up and running, uh, the staked tokens for Pocket Node is going up a lot, and a lot of people are jumping in on the system. And again, that just goes to show you that the demand for this is very, very high which is fantastic so let's I'm gonna try and duplicate this and we'll see if it, if it comes up but if, if the demand is continuing to rise then that supply if it whether it stays the same or not uh, is going to be uh, you know imperative in, in seeing kind of where the price can be so let me let me reload this one more time I think I do have the data now to show you guys uh, but while while that's loading up we can take a look at right here and and talk about a little bit of the price prediction so again a lot of people have been making price predictions and I am super optimistic and super bullish on crypto as a whole so I think over time over the next you know couple of years all of the market caps will go up dramatically so it doesn't necessarily have to hit the top 20 spot maybe this will be the top 50 of the top 60 top 70 spot to be an eight billion dollar market cap but uh poly our pocket network is only you know eight times away from getting there which is not that much considering the growth and the interest of where it's at right now and what it can do right now i do think that it is a system that is can definitely be adopted dramatically and reach an eight billion dollar market cap putting that price at about ten dollars per token so what's that going to get you with rewards i'm not sure if this actually gives you the exact amount of rewards if it's sitting at about a dollar and 
20 cents right now. Um, that number times five is close to about $7. So if you can imagine going up a little bit higher, I'm not sure if it even goes up to, to, to super moon. We can look at the super moon uh, right here, but a $50,000 estimated yearly earnings could be a possibility for pocket nodes in the future if it does reach those super bullish levels. Now, bear in mind though, if it does get to those super bullish levels that a lot of other YouTubers and myself are speculating that it could get to, then you're looking at a very expensive node to start with in the future. So if you're trying to set yourself up right now, I think that right now, maybe later if the price goes down a little bit, is the best opportunity because you're getting these nodes at close to about $15,000, maybe seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000 a piece. Um, at the current price. Uh, if you're going to wait until everything's off kind of out of the bag and people are already using the nodes like crazy and it's a top top 20 coin, then you're looking at a node of about $150,000 a piece for each node uh, right there. So that's kind of my plans as to why I am, you know, stacking up as many of these nodes as possible. And honestly, uh, I was thinking about running my own node, but I might just continue to use Coder because they're doing it a lot better than probably I can do. We'll see what happens uh, one of the negatives with uh using a third-party service like coder i'm not going to say coder is the, the per most perfect thing in the world is they do take a cut so it's 60 40 you get 60 percent of your rewards they get 40 percent of your rewards uh you know you might think that that's pretty steep uh, but again they're optimizing the crap out of it so it might work out in your favor you know you might have gotten that 60 percent anyway because your, your nodes weren't as optimized as uh, what they can do that's just my thinking about it uh, and, and it cuts down on the time and timing and everything and, and there's really no subscription service to it either so there's a lot of positives but there is that negative that you have to be aware of if you're looking at uh, running these nodes on your own it could be more beneficial if you can figure it out so this is just my quick little update video for you guys i wanted to give you guys an update on kind of how pocket node was going for me i'll give you guys another update in, in a, probably a couple weeks or so just to show you guys and again this is exciting to see it's working out really well right now uh, and, and if it like there's really two ways this can go. It's going to work out even better in the next two weeks when I do my update video, or it's going to be significantly worse. And in that case, I might actually end up purchasing a couple more nodes to set myself up in a position um, when it does, you know, hopefully inevitably rise again. So that is everything for this video. I wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I do want to also talk about my pre-search nodes too. Uh, that's been a very popular video. So I know people are looking for updates on that. And I also know that there's plenty of you that say this is way out of price range for me i can't do this king of fomo i need something cheap like police and thieves uh, hopefully we'll get more of that stuff going as well some of the cheaper daps or i'm sorry some of the cheaper uh, nft games that are coming out but of course, with NFT games, I do like to kind of take a step back when, you know, there's there's too much eyeballs on it because like the best time to jump into all this stuff is when people aren't paying attention to it. And right now, uh, some of those NFTs, there's, there's a lot of the same stuff going on right now. But anyway, that's everything for today, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll leave some links in the description. If you guys want to support me and support these videos coming out even faster and sooner, and if you guys want to get plugged into that Patreon space, you want to ask me questions individually, I don't really look at YouTube comments, but Patreon stuff I do look at on Discord, then definitely head on over to Patreon, and I post the Discord link after I post a video every single time I post a video. So if you're looking for those Discord links when you join up in the Patreon, wait until I post my next video. The Discord link will be in the Patreon version of that video. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Peace out.